please help everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to cut and sew this beautiful dress you're seeing on me on the screen if you are new here please follow my facebook page and share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel please share this video like comment and if you have any question let me know in the comment section please share this video thank you this into two and this into two so i fold into four full length is 42 inches so i have one and a half inch to use one inch to hem on the back part and use half inch to sew on the shoulder i'm going to cut the shoulder and this it together from here to this way is the shoulder and this extra is going to be the sleeve so that is why i call it shoulder and sleeve together the measurement i have here on the shoulder and sleeve is 16 inches so 16 inches here 16 inches here 16 inches here 16 inches here so humble i'm going to measure nine and a half inches I measure nine and a half inches. I'm going to measure bust 52 inches divided by four is 13 inches. It's 13 inches plus one inch to so. And I mark this one. From shoulder down, 16 inches. That is half length. From waist, I'm going to add to the measurement. But from bust, I measure 52 inches divided by Four is 13 inches plus one inch to so waist is 56 inches divided by four 14 inches which is here and i will add one inch to so from the hip which is 10 inches here so i'm going to cut it like this i'm going to cut here i measure three and a half inches on the neckline so on the back i will cut with half inch So much here. Sixteen inches. Sixteen inches. From shoulder down here, sixteen inches. So I notch here. So I'm going to sew from here from the waist. So for the front neck, I'm going to measure neckline the way it will pass through my head. So I place my tape on the shoulder and I measure down. Five inches. So what I'm going to do is to join the shoulder, the back shoulder and the front shoulder together. Here and here. From 
went to the back this way. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to sew this way. I'm going to sew here. I'm not joining the shoulder. I'm not joining the shoulder. I measure from shoulder down the system inches. I'm going to sew pockets on the two sides. I will leave about half inch. I leave half inch here. I will leave half inch here. So I will measure from that half inch. I just mark down. I will measure seven inches. I will do the same here. I will do the same on the back. For the pockets, I have this one. It's 7 inches by 13 inches. I have four pieces here. I mark from the 16 inches, I leave half inches, so I will sew from that half inch which I mark here. I will start the sewing here from here to 7 inches. From here to seven inches, I will do the same on the back and the same on the front. I will sew here. So I have this one. I'm going to measure neckline. From here, I not here. I measure. I have 12 inches. I have 12 inches here. So 12 inches here. So let me measure for the body. I have 11 inches here and 11 inches here. That means I'm going to sew after one inch from the center here. From the front, I'm going to sew after one inch like this. I'll measure one inch here. I'll sew from here to here. So I'll have two inches here. I'll end here. Then I'm not sewing the lining and the main material together just like this. This is how it looks like. And what I'm going to do now is to sew here. I'm going to sew here, not here. I'm going to sew this piece on the neckline. I'll sew here on the neckline. I'll sew here like this with this rope. What I'm going to do is to fold like this. I have almost one and a half inch for the rope. Then I will start this way. I will fold like this with half inch and I will bring, I will place it like this so I will leave half inch here and sew after half inch, I will leave half inch here, after half inch I will sew because I am going to sew here on the neckline, this piece, so this half inch is where I will start the neckline from, that is why I leave half inch here, I am going to sew after half inch, I am going to sew this half inch on the neckline, this half inch, I'm going to sew on the neckline, so that's why I leave half inch here. So after half inch, I will start the sewing with the rope like this. Then to this piece, I will also leave half inch here and fold here, just like I fold this piece with half inch. So I'm not sewing the pocket on, on it. What I will also do is to turn this way. And then I sew round sleeve, I sew round sleeve with half inch. So I'll turn this way and measure. I'll bring this way and measure eight and a half inches here. And I'll sew. I'll sew after eight and a half inches. I'll sew this way. Okay. That way. And down. I'll sew both sides. After sewing, I will hem the down part with one and a half inch. After doing that, before I will sew rope on the waist, I am going to sew rope on the waist, on the right side, not on the back. I will show you that when I am done sewing this one. I am done sewing. The two sides, then I hem down part with one and a half inch and I'm done sewing this I'm 
I'm just doing one part. So I did part in which you can see before I start my sewing through this piece and I leave half in here. So what I'm going to do is to bring this way. I will fold this one little bit like this and sew on top. I'm going to sew on top here. So the half inch is still here. So I'm going to sew here from the neckline this place. I'm going to stitch down all through here. And this is the half inch I'll sew on the neckline. I'm going to iron 16 inches from the shoulder. Then I'll mark. So measure 16 inches. shoulder down 16 inches both back and front so what I will do is to open this way in place on my machine I will open in place on my machine let me iron the front so I'm going to start from here the center to the back in this way I'm going to start from the front so let me make let me iron the center I just iron the center as on the front Iron here. So I will bring this way, place on the machine like this, place on the machine like this, and I will sew, I will fold it one inch inside, and I will start here. I will sew around the waist up to this place. This is the front of the material. After sewing, I will bring this way. So rope is going to come out from this one. This one I'm going to sew on the waist. I'm done sewing. This is where the rope will pass through this place to this place. Then I will sew here on the neckline. So for the rope I just sew, it's like this right. Let me show you. I hope you can see it. This is how it looks like now. So round the waist. So what I'm going to do, I will bring this way and fold like this and sew just like the first one where I sew round the waist for the very first time. So I leave one inch here, in between here and here, I leave one inch here. If you place on my machine just like I explained before, this way I will place on my machine like this. I will place on my machine this way and I will bring like this and stitch around the waist. When I don't bring that in, I will sew this one on the Neckline. This is the center, and this is the back center. I will place together like this and sew from here. Remember the half inch I told you I was going to start from, so I'm going to sew from here round up to here. So let me go and do that. I'm not sewing on the neckline. So in here, so I'm going to pass the hook now. I'm going to pass the hook. This is the neckline. I'm going to use these pieces and fold this way. Okay. I'll start from the back. So I place like this. I'll sew round. After sewing round, I'll bring it this way to come back the roof part. So when I'm done doing that, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm done sewing for the one I use in turning the neck 